everyone, my name is Natalie and today I want to do a 5 star predictions TBR video specifically with only nonfiction titles. So I've done one of the, these in the past when it was first going around booktube and it was first started by Mercedes from Mercedes Bookish Musings. I read three of the five books I put on that TBR. The ones that I haven't read I think I will it will be a while until I get to them. So I thought that I would make a new one and only include nonfiction books. It was interesting to make this list because I think um, I rate books very differently based on the genre that they are and what I expect to get out of them. Uh, so this was uh, an interesting exercise and I would love to know what you would put on your five star predictions for nonfiction. But without further ado, let's talk about the books that I think will become new favorites. So first I'm going to talk about books that uh, I don't have with me. So they are not part of my physical TBR, they're part of my Goodreads to read list. And the first one we have is called The Resurrections of the Romanovs by Greg King and Penny Wilson. This is covering the story of Anna Anderson who claimed to be the long lost Anastasia Romanov. So uh, this was a real mystery in that uh, the family, the Romanov family's bodies were lost after the execution of them uh, and so for a long period of time it wasn't clear if Anna Anderson was actually telling the truth that she was Anastasia or if she was a fraud. And so uh, it wasn't clear until the 90s but this book covers that whole story. Because I find this story so fascinating and so uh, captivating, I think I will love this based on the topic and the depth that it goes into alone. The next one I have is called The Impossible State, North Korea, Past and Future by Victor Cha. This is an extensive history of North Korea um, and looks at the way that the country became as it is, its politics, its government, all of those things. I find North Korea as a topic really interesting to learn about. This book is of an outside look and looks at the country as a whole and how it became the way it is and I think this is going to be exactly what I've been looking for more of a sort of long-term context for understanding North Korea and I think this book is going to be that. The next one I have is called How to be a good creature by Sai Montgomery. This is a memoir of the author's relationships with various animals in her life I think. So um, I read Soul of an Octopus by this author earlier in the year and loved it and I think this one I, I think I'm gonna like even better because it's specifically looking at that personal bond with various animals and obviously I am I am a big animal person so I think I will love that aspect of it but also this is illustrated by Rebecca Green I think it is um, whose illustrations I love. The next one I have is called Love of Country A Hebridean Journey by Madeline Bunting. As far as I can tell this is sort of a nature memoir and sort of the uh, a memoir of living Living in a very coastal landscape and of a, uh, a sort of a biography of a place. The reason I think I will love this is that uh, I've been recommended this book uh, on the Goodreads uh, page. Uh, you can often see readers also enjoyed and for this book Foxes Unearthed was one of the ones um, that had sort of a similar um, readership uh, which uh, Foxes Unearthed I loved so I think that bodes well and I love nature writing something similar to Waterfalls of Stars uh, that I read earlier in the year and is one of my favorite books of the year. So uh, I have a feeling that this one is going to be something along the same lines. Therefore, I think it is, there's a good chance that I will give this five stars also. The next one I have is called Tove Jansson Life Art Words uh, by Boel Vestin. So this is originally a Swedish book, so I will obviously read it in Swedish, um, but it has been translated into English as well. It is a, a biography of Tove Jansson, who is one of my favorite people in general. I read a biography of her um, previously that I really loved learning about her, but I didn't love everything about the biography. But this one I think I will love because it's written by Boel Vestin, who has written several things on Tove Jansson, some of which I've read. And I really like the things that she says. I think uh, she really gets Tove Jansson. Then we have my physical TBR books that I think I will give five stars to. Um, so the first one is Queens of Animation by Natalia Holt. This is a very recent release and it is a 
also on my nonfiction November TBR, so I will link that if you want to know more about this, but I think I would love it because women's history plus Disney. If this is well written, then it's a definite five stars, but we shall see. Hopefully it is executed well. And the other one is also one that I've added to my nonfiction in November TBRs, and it's called This Golden Fleece, A Journey Through Britain's Knitted History by Esther Rutter. So this is a kind of nonfiction book that I've been looking for for ages. There isn't a lot of knitting history books. Uh, there's uh, a few memoirs of this sort of uh, the touches on the history but this book seems to be more of a deep dive into the history of knitting and this is as I said something that I've been looking for for a long time so because of that if it's done well then I think I'm gonna love it also Mel loved it if she loves it then there's a good chance that I can love it as well uh, hopefully I do because I would be very disappointed if I wasn't the next one is also based on a booktuber's love and that is Nicholas and Alexandra the classic account of the fall of the Romanov dynasty by Robert K. Massey. This is a book that I've been recommended several times by a book olive. She um, is a sort of a Russian history buff. She loves it and I think it's a shame that I still haven't read this. The next one is called The Center Cannot Hold by Ellen R. Sachs and this is a memoir of schizophrenia. So the reason I think I'm gonna love it is in part I've been really uh, enjoying reading about mental illness. This book seems to be sort of a classic within the genre of mental illness writing and it is referenced in um, The Collected Schizophrenias by Esme Wayan Wang which is again one of my favorites, uh, favorite books of the year. The next one is A Rather Haunted Life um, by Ruth Franklin and it is a biography of Shirley Jackson. Shirley Jackson is one of my favorite authors. I've heard a lot of good things about this biography. A lot of people who love Shirley Jackson I've heard has loved this book and also it seems like it's a really interesting approach to Shirley Jackson and looking uh, at her from uh, being that, that Shirley Jackson was sort of inventing her persona. The next one I have is called Mad, Bad, Sad, uh, Women and the Mind Doctors by Lisa Apignanesi. Apignanesi. This is actually one that I've started reading several years ago. I've read, I think, about a fifth of this already. It's talking about women's mental health, um, madness, and um, sort of um, the psychiatric history, the framing of women in terms of madness. Uh, so the subject itself has always fascinated me ever since I started reading about gender in university. Uh, it has been a theme that I get back to again and again. One of the reasons I think I'm gonna love this and eventually give it five stars is because even though it has been several years since I read uh, the things that I've read of this, I have not stopped thinking about it. So I think that bodes well for this entire book. The last one I have on this five star predictions TBR is Winterbirds by Lars Jonsson. This is actually a Swedish book. It has been translated into English and it is a book talking about the birds you can see in the winter. The reason that I think I'm gonna love this is probably fairly obvious. It is nature writing, it's specifically on birds, it's specifically on birds in winter, which is one of my favorite seasons uh, to read about. And it is also illustrated. I feel like this is one of the safer bets in this TBR, uh, but we shall see. I will definitely uh, update you with that. So those are the books that I wanted to show you for this list. Uh, as I said, I would be really interested to hear if you have any books that you think uh, are likely to be five stars in terms of nonfiction for you. Have you read any of these books? What did you think of them? Do you think I will give them five stars based on my taste? I would love to know. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.